Welcome to the Dining for One Health and Wellness Show, where we inspire and encourage you to embrace a life of health and wellness and to learn how to exploit the benefits of living a healthy lifestyle. Our next guest enjoys her ability to help people feel better, find their true selves, get clarity, and reclaim their power, which will help them create the life they deserve. Her mission is to help people realize that it is your birthright and within your grasp to create the life you want. She believes you are all unique and powerful, and the painful hard times are just temporary. I'd like to introduce the creator of the Healing Your Body and Soul program, Belinda Ortiz. Belinda, thank you for being on the show. I'm happy to have you on. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, what have you been up to lately? Anything new going on? Well, when you um, work with energy, there's always something going on. <laughs> so, yeah, everything is just exciting and new things come up all the time and I'm just extremely, extremely excited of being here. So, so let's start. Thank you again. Let's start from mm-hmm. the beginning on this. What can you really explain for those who don't understand uh, what energy healing? What? How does energy healing work? What is it? Well, energy healing is um, the conscious and skilled use of therapeutic modalities to benefit a person on their emotional level, subtle levels as well as in their general and physical well-being. Um, energy healing promotes healing by enhancing the energy flow and correcting any disturbances in the human energy field, um, which permeates our, and surrounds our body. Improving the energy flow in the energy field supports our self-healing capacity. Uh, because everybody has that capacity. Energy healing is an umbrella term for any therapy that manipulates energy circuits in our physical and subtle bodies. And um, energy healing facilitates the healing process by clearing blocks and repairing and balancing the energy so that the body can move to its optimal level. And optimal level meaning that we all have the inherent ability to heal ourselves. Energy healing takes a holistic approach that looks beyond the physical to manipulate the subtle energy systems, like meridians, auric bodies, chakras, and that is what most people may be familiar with. And that's where the cause of the disease can be located. Um, traumas, emotional and mental stress, physical distress, environment stress, and other blocks to our personal growth can be stored in the energy fields in our bodies, impacting our ability to function, you know, the, to our best capacity. Um, it opens our consciousness to the areas we need to work through and heal in order to bring our lives into balance so we can maintain health, harmony, and vitality. That is kind of what energy healing is about. So let's take it back a little bit. What is, how would you define uh, energy? I know you described it, uh, how energy uh, heals us, what it's uh, basically connected to. But what is the energy? What is it that we're feeling? Or is it something that we're feeling? Well, most of the time, we might not be aware of it. Um, But for example, for many people, when you enter a room and um, you feel like you are attracted to go and talk to somebody, you are sharing your energy fields. Many people identify it as auras because it's the most common term. Um, The same as when you don't want to get close to somebody. You are kind of repelled by that energy field. And um, some people can feel, for example, some tingling, and that is energy current going through your body. I don't know if that answers your question. No, it does. And how is this connected to ill health? 
how is it connected to our health? No, no, uh, um, to being unhealthy. Well, if we are storing in our bodies energies that are not um, light energies, that are heavy energies, for example, caused by trauma, um, it's been known in the art of Qigong for thousands of years that energy storages, according to the emotion, it storages in different organs in our bodies. So, for example, anger sits in your liver. So you might have issues with your liver if you're storing a lot of anger. And that is the reason why through some martial arts or practices like Tai Chi and Qigong, um, you can move those energies. It's not like Everybody can probably, in a matter of minutes, can remove energy that is storaged in certain organs, but at least you are having that flow of energy going through your body instead of having it stopped. So do we have um, one uh, energy field, or is it uh, a combination of multiple energy fields in our body? It's been um, found that there are several layers, and um, so that's why when you do energy work, you tend to find out that you peel like like an onion, you peel different layers. So you might find certain feelings, emotions, and energy in one level, and when you peel that off you will find more, more underneath and more underneath. So that's why we kind of need to keep on working on ourselves or, you know, on a regular basis. But there are ways of, um, you know, that you can help yourself. Yes, like being aware it's, it's a big step. So when you say being aware, that's mostly our, does that include our attitude that we have towards, whether it's uh, someone or just a general outlook that we might have in life? It, well, um, attitude is one thing, but being aware is when you recognize patterns or attitudes or how you take in certain things, how you react to certain things. Um, that is more of awareness than just having a positive attitude. Because when you are aware that something made you feel bad or something kind of make you feel makes you feel unease or makes you feel sick, being aware of that helps you then take care of it. It's not only having the attitude. Of course, of course it helps. But being able to recognize when things are not sitting well with you, you know, will help you in the future also. And what kind of problems have you experienced with the clients that uh, energy healing has helped them with? Um, I've had I've had this client that came to me just saying, you know, I just I just don't know what to do anymore. My life just is not working at all. I mean, he was feeling sick. He was just almost non-functioning. And uh, we, you know, after several sessions, we were, as I said, peeling layers off. And um, he was in this relationship. This is how the whole thing started. He was in a relationship where he felt he was taken advantage of. He was verbally abused, mentally abused, um, it was, no matter what he did, everything was wrong all the time. Um, he was putting a lot of weight on. He couldn't sleep at night. And uh, it was all about feeling worthless. He was just feeling like he was, you know, like nobody. And um, it was about working with these energies that he had 
of fear and feeling like whatever he did was not good enough from when he was growing up. So most of his relationships in life were that way. There was no respect involved. And um, so this relationship that he was in, they were, you know, taking advantage of him in every every way. And um, when he was aware of what was going on, and when he started releasing all these negative energies, he started getting his power back, and he started speaking up. And he was able to, he ended up that relationship, and he started suddenly taking control of his life. He, energy affects us in so many ways that he also lost 50 pounds. And um, he started then working on the career he really wanted to work on. He's a musician, and that was his passion. But and, and also the newer relationships that he was having were more um, based on respect. And he didn't have to make people like him. People started liking him because he started liking himself. He started loving himself. So that is one example. And just by feeling that bad, his relationship, his health, his, um, his sleep patterns, his emotions, they were all affected, and they got better. Um, he was in, in the program with me for like uh, almost a year, uh, and he's doing great today. So what are some of the techniques that you use to, to work with a client in the beginning where they're, they're difficult, they're not really sure exactly what it is uh, they're having issues with, or really they're not comfortable talking to you in the beginning? Well, I always have what I call an assessment um, conversation. And it's all about finding out where they are, meaning how they're feeling, what is it that they're going through. And this is, for me to figure that out, because I'm intuitive too, but it's also to see if it is a good fit for both of us to work together. Um, then I will explain to them um, what the process could be. Everybody's totally different. So some people need release, you know, trauma release meditations or guided meditations. Sometimes they're like our body is so smart, so intelligent, that it will want to do what needs to do first. Sometimes we think we need to fix one thing first. And our body will do what needs to be done first. So, for example, you might think you want to be working in, um, let's say, depression. And your body might want to release anger first. So even though we go in to work with an intention, your body will do first what needs to be done. Um, and you, So you ask me what is it that I do? I just use different techniques according to the person and the situation, but it's mostly based on energy flow and um, energy work, the energy that I explained to you at the beginning. And um, it's, as I said, very intuitive. And um, I will just guide the person to whatever we need to do. And there's also coaching involved because I have found out that my coaching program and my healing program separate were not as effective and life-changing as they are together. So, again, it depends on, on the person and what type of program they want and what type of issue they want to work on. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, mind, body, uh, and spirit and how each one of those has uh, an emotional uh, energy field to them. 
and how, how you deal with them in, in your practice? Well, um, for example, if by, by changing a negative or dense energy, you can experience change in your health, in your mood, in your emotions, in your relationships. By releasing, um, let's say, fear that you might be holding. Normally, it's in your stomach, in your abdomen area, where fear might decide to sit. And um, by releasing that, your digestion can be improved. Um, Even back pains can be improved. By changing your limiting beliefs, you can get rid of allergies. By releasing an energy block that you might have in your throat, that might have a positive influence in your thyroid gland. You might start not being afraid of speaking publicly. Um, for example, you can also, if you get rid of true energy, life traumas, and, and, you know, that affects the drama you might have in your life, then you can feel like you have an easier, lighter life. You might just overcome fears and anxiety also in the process. So, all this, this energy affects your health, um, your body, your mind, your spirit. It affects everything. We're all made of energy. So do you... So that's co- how... I'm sorry. Go ahead. So that is just how deeply affected we are by energy, and sometimes we're not, you know, we, we don't know. So when you're you're coaching and you're doing the healing with your your client, do you use? It sounds like you use a little bit of the Indian and also uh, Chinese methods. Uh, is that true, yes. or do you? What other methods do you use? Well, um, again, I I practice. I learn different techniques, but it's mostly intuitive according to the client. But there is. Um, Qigong energy used um, in the process. There is chakra alignment and clearing and opening. Um, And I tend to do that at the end of the sessions just to make sure everybody has their, you know, chakras open and in alignment. So, and and people feel like a click. Sometimes it's, you know... um, but um, I also need to make sure they are grounded as, as part of the sessions because it's really important that they're grounded. And um, I, um, I just use also, I help people be aware and um, because that helps them in their daily life. So it is all of these things things together, plus making them aware of the limiting beliefs that they may have that they grew up with, and that is part of the coaching, and um, all these ideas and beliefs that are not even theirs. They grew up hearing other people talking about things, and they took it as their own ideas and their own beliefs, and it's just helping people realize that that is not even theirs. And by doing that, they also release and change their behaviors that might also be uh, part of the reason why things don't change in their lives. If they don't change behaviors and their beliefs, they might have all the clearing in their energies that they want, but if they keep on repeating the same things, they will be getting the same things. And so can you uh, describe a little bit what um, what Qigong is and uh, also what is uh, chakra? Well, Qigong is um, a martial art 
practice that has been done for years in uh, um, in China, and this works with your meridians and um, and your your chakras are center points of energy that um, balance affect different parts of your life, and um, just by aligning them and making sure there is a flow of energy through your body, um, they all get to work in their best way. And um, you can find, for example, when you're working with energy, that some of my clients might feel a pain, for example, in the leg, in their, in their thigh. And what that is, is that there is a blockage in there. And just by having this energy go through, that blockage just gets removed. It's all about moving energy in the body. So how long do your uh, your coaching program, how long does that usually last for, for a typical client? Well, the coaching programs and uh, healing programs depend on the person and the issue that um, they want to work on. Some of my clients come to me to work on one thing, and then they realize that by changing that and something else and something else and something else in your life has really huge uh, transformation. Um, You can start with a six-week program, and I normally don't do, you know, just one session because it's like a band-aid. You know, it's not about just clearing one thing because if you don't clear or change your behaviors again and work on several things, that is not going to be enough. So the programs start six weeks and they go up to six months. And after that, some people have decided that they want to continue because they want to work on you know, getting the relationship they've always dreamed on and all that stuff. So I I walk them through the process um, because it's not about helping them, okay, this is the relationship you want, so this is where you are right now, you're ready to go out there and start dating and all of that. So I stay with them a little bit through the dating part if that is what they need so to make sure they're not repeating the same behaviors, for example, or if they're going into new jobs, depending on what the issue again is. If they have had a tendency before to repeat patterns, they just want me to walk them through them at the beginning, and then, you know, I just let go whenever they're ready. But, um, yeah, it, it varies according to what is that we're working with. I have people that have come to me just for depression, and uh, and that is all they need. And um, it might take them six weeks to two months to work with that, depending on how big the issue is. And do you have a website that people can learn more about you and what it is that you do? Yes. Um, they can go to www. CoachingWithBelinda.com And we'll have that on our show notes. That's going to do it for this edition. Thank you for listening, and we look forward to having you download us again.